What? These are all cakes? Not the onion. Not the Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be looking at some cake. Or is it? Hmm. So this is how they make a watermelon cake. And this is crazy. So you just take regular pink cake, layer it, cut it, you gotta shape it the shape of a watermelon. Oh, it's already looking like a watermelon. Don't forget the rind. Make it out of frosting, and then they're gonna put fondant over it. Paint it green. We gotta make it exactly like a watermelon. Yes, mother, I'm eating all my fruits and veggies. Look at that, you can barely even tell the difference. Tell me you wouldn't see that watermelon and be like, that's a watermelon. There is no way that could be a cake. Like, look at the detail. I am shook by the detail of this. They like hand painted this bad boy. That's insane. Oh, look at the cute little doggy. He just chilling there, looking all cute or whatever. But this ain't a regular dog. This is an edible dog. He's not friend, he's food. Fish are friends, not food. So in China and other countries, there's like this crazy trend of dog moose cakes. Look at him, look at all thick. It's made of chocolate mousse. And they look so realistic, it's insane. Smash like if you would eat a chocolate dog. Your girl loves some chocolate mousse. The most superior kind of mousse. Look at this little guy. Snug as a bug in a rug. Snug as a snake that's about to go for the yeet. But is it really a snake? No way this is a cake. It's a cake! Look at that slice. You know, if you didn't slice that, I wouldn't have believed you. Mm -mm. Like, it's got scales. It looks like a real snake. Look at that detail. I would feel so gross eating that, especially the head. Like, uh-uh. I mean, probably tastes better than a real snake. We have a plate of bananas over here. Okay, that's a banana. <gasps> that's a cake! It's not a real banana. This is how they did it. They have a cutout of a banana, and then they're just gonna trace it on the cake. Basically get a piece of cake shaped like a banana. Gotta put some chocolate on it, and then of course the fondant. Ooh, looking like normal SpongeBob before they put all the blemishes on it. You know, gotta make it look legit. Just hand drawn. All the little specks and marks. The stem looks so real! Okay, I'm looking at these. Look at the plate of bananas. Like, you can't tell. There's no way. Imagine being on a diet. Like, I'm gonna make a healthy choice. Picks up a banana. Ends up being cake. That's wild. Wildly delicious. Oh, I saw this and I was like, that is so perfect. It's an Xbox controller cake. But look at it, flawless. You can't even tell the difference. I feel like the only difference is that one look a little thick. Hmm. Yeah, see, compared to mine, that one looks really thick. It's a thick boy. That's because it's got cake inside it. Here we got an extra thick and juicy bag of Doritos. That bag looked like it was sealed with extra air. <gasps> and it's cake! I keep saying like, oh no, 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 not this one. This cannot actually be cake. I just want them to be wrong, just once. But no, they keep proving me wrong. Like it looks like a bag of chips that was actually filled up. <laughs> That's how you know it was fake. Ugh, I keep looking at this, I'm like, ugh. I wanna eat you. Let me eat you. Dang, that apple look extra juicy. That's the GMO kind. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying when they cut it. Mm, I like my apples like I like my chicken. Boneless. Hi, Keto. This video's making me hungry. It's a head of lettuce. And it doesn't even look that good either. Like it looks like it's old, been sitting in the fridge for like a week, leaves turning brown. It doesn't look appetizing at all. And then when you cut it and it's cake. Oh yes. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's like a crusty, musty, moldy head of lettuce. And on the inside is cake. I would be so confused eating it. This doesn't taste like zero calories. Happy birthday, Abby. Oh my love. Dad. And got her an iPhone cake. Dad, what is this? I specifically asked for an iPhone 11. And you got me an iPhone 6. I do not care if it's a cake. You have humiliated me in front of my second grade class. That looks pretty good though. Now that's a real Apple phone because you can eat it. 
Ooh, that's spiky. So this is a durian. If you don't know what a durian is, it's a fruit and it's very stinky. And they're really big too. You've probably seen it in like the grocery store. Sometimes they got like one or two of them. They're this big. They're very spiky and smell like a bus sack. And someone made a cake version of it. Some people really like the taste and smell of durian. Some people don't. I just like how spiky it is. Like the cake looks better than the real thing. That actually looks delicious. Oh, look at that boy sitting on the kitchen table. He's so good. That's not a good boy though, it's dessert. This is how they made him. So he used to be just the triple layer cake. Ooh, and then they put a head on it. So they molded him. Body by Pillsbury, who this? Oh, it's kind of creepy. That ain't Fido. Mold me like one of your French girls. It looks like a painting. Who would want to eat that? Happy 40th birthday, Ida. She want to eat a dog so bad for her birthday. Hello? Eat a dog. I don't know why you would want to eat a cake that looks very realistically like a dog. Like, you trying to say something? I'm just staring at this. Like, the blanket, the detail of this. Why would you want to eat art? Oh, I was like, dang, that looks so bomb right now. A Philly cheesesteak. Y'all see me? I'm salivating. This is like the one time I don't actually want it to be cake. Wait, what's a meat made out of? This is a mystery meat right here. I don't trust sweet meat. I don't trust the cheese either. It's like the bread looks like a cake and then the filling looks actually like meat and cheese. Do not care. Let's we'll still eat. Here we have a shoe cake. Okay, so if you look at this half, that's a shoe, right? It is. You put it on your feet, not in your mouth. I mean, it's your life. You can do whatever you want. Oh, no. We put it in our mouth. I don't understand. Why would you have a shoe cake? Of all the things you can make into a cake. You know, I really like these shoes. They look so delicious. I just want to eat them. But I can't eat leather and rubber. So we're going to make a chocolate cake version. What? These are all cakes? Not the onion. Just an ordinary Coca-Cola bottle, right? No, it's chocolate. And then inside is cake and ice cream. No, sir, you are kidding me. I would have that over soda. Ooh. No, it's brownies. It's brownies and ice cream. Or is it frosting? Either way, it looks delicious. Imagine just like bringing that to work or school and then just taking a bite out of it like straight up. Mm. Oh, look, another good boy. So this one doesn't look like a cake. It looks like, like one of those like porcelain figures that your grandma has that she keeps with all her rare china. Dang, they took a slice out of his head. Do you really want to eat something that's just like looking you straight in the eye? Judging you. For wanting to eat a cake that looks like a realistic dog? So a lot of people make a camera cake. I don't know why, but it's apparently a popular thing. So this one you could probably make at home. It's crazy how all of them start out. It's just like a round or square piece of cake. And then they shaped it into a camera by cutting the pieces. But how you make that thick cylindrical one is what I want to know. And then you put fondant on top of it. I feel like that's the hard part because you got to like smooth it out, make sure it's like perfect. Wham, bam, yes, ma'am. You got an edible camera. That's gross. This is cake. No, those are some dirty, crusty shoes. Look at the laces. Why someone look at dirty shoes and be like, mm, you know what, this will make a great cake idea for someone's birthday. You know what, I would actually do this. Cause my friend, she got some crusty Converse. I would get her a crusty Converse cake and then buy her a new pair of shoes. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably what they did. Mmm, delicious, a bag of bagels. Even the bag is edible, and all the bagels. I'm confused. You could have just made the bag into a cake and then the bagels like actual bagels. Wait, if they're sweet, does that make them donuts? They're not actually bagels then. Hmm, is a sweet bagel a donut? Comment below. It's a bag of lies is what it is. Ah, you! Sorry, I'm allergic to lies and deception. Over here we got the comfiest of leather couches. It ain't a leather couch, it's cake. Y'all took a slice right out of the sofa. Hey, that's my spot. This is how they do it. So you just take a regular piece of cake and then make the shape of a sofa. They use pound cake. And then you just cut out all the pieces. And then put frosting over the whole thing. Ooh, that glow up. Who is she? Fondant can really change these Pillberry box cakes into something amazing. And then you just do all the like cushiony details. Make it extra plush. I mean, if you're into eating cushions without all the harmful effects of actually eating cushions, this is the cake for you. Don't mind me just sipping my hot chocolate with my metal straw. 
and it's cake. Y'all couldn't fool me, I see those forks. Imagine being so extra that you had to use a fork to get the marshmallow off your cappuccino. No, if you do that, we can't be friends. Just kidding, I know someone who does that. <laughs> okay, but can you drink it or do you bite it? Would you like some burger and fries and onion rings? You know what gave this away? The powdered sugar. You don't put powdered sugar on a burger unless you like your buns extra sweet. How would you eat this? You can't like hold it and then it's like you gotta like be all sophisticated, cut it with like a fork and a knife. What do you dip the onion rings in? Frosting? See, I'm okay with a burger, but like fried foods as cake is not okay in my book. You're confusing my taste buds. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which one of these you want for your birthday. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe, join the wolf pack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.